Hello everybody, this is Captain Jurwa bringing you some live showdown today, and today we are not going to be doing RU, we are going to be doing some NU today, because uh, NU is a pretty cool tier also, and I quite like it. But yes, anyway, t this is a team uh, that me and I Smiley's Eye made together. It was uh, supposed to be built around Agility and Feroz, because there are not too many switch-ins for this thing, and when you get an Agility up... It's basically just like a mini Thunderous T. But yeah, then we've got our defensive core here, Mandibuzz, Seismitoad, Blossom, excellent physical wall, excellent special wall, and then just excellent tank and utility thingy. And then we have dual fighting types, because, uh, yeah, there are not too many things for fighting Pokemon in NU. There's like Musharna and Mistrevis. But... The idea is to kind of use Choice Banded Monferno to break through some of them and then kind of just clean up with Sock. And yeah, Banded Monferno is a pretty cool thing. I originally saw someone by the name of the Dragon LX use it. And uh, yeah, so he's a pretty cool guy. But the main thing is it's got the fire subtyping, it gets U-Turn, and it gets Mock Punch with Iron Fist. So yeah, even though it's got pretty bad attack, it's still pretty interesting. And we got some lag. It's better now, though, I think. So he has a Charizard. And no spinner. Actually, Seismitoad is a, does pretty well against everything except this. And he's just trying... Whoops, my I'm zoomed in for some reason. That's what's going on. Um, He's just trying to Giga Drain me. He thinks I'm a fool. But yes, Blossom... Very good special wall, even flamethrower. Probably wouldn't do too much. Unless he's Specs. Specs Electros is pretty cool. But yeah, I just have to put something, or just can put something to sleep there. This guy's actually using a team quite like the Dragon LX, because the Dragon LX usually will pack two normal type Pokemon on the same team. Just to, uh,. Yeah, because it, in NU, there's not too many counters to those either. Just like I'm running dual fighting. Okay, but Charizard. There's a chance he might have HP Grass. So I'm going to go into... Okay, that works. <laughs> I'm just going to go into Scarf Sock. I'm going to click Close Combat. I don't even care if he brings in Bannet, and if, since I'm Scarf, of course, Pile Sign will... Wives. <laughs> That's, um, now he can Ice Shard me here, but I do not want that happening. And I'm just going to try to kill him off here. I'm not quite sure if I'm faster. Yeah, I'm faster. So now he doesn't get rocks. The reason I didn't want him to get rocks is just so I can keep my sock around. And he brings in this again. I'm almost wondering... <sighs> You know what, we're just, we're not going to risk this. Yeah. He just does the obvious thing two times in a row. Like, I could have predicted him to not go for, to go for a flamethrower there, but I have, really have no reason not to go into Blossom. So I'm going to just go right back into Seismitoad this turn, just to get rocks up, just because I want to wear down this thing and the rest of his team. I really just need to weaken that Electros, and then I can sweep with Ampharos. And that rhymed. So yes, get get up Stealth Rocks here. This Tauros here, just returning. I don't know why he doesn't have Rock Climb. Maybe he has both Rock Climb and Return. Uh, I can just go into Mandibuzz, though. And Pwn. Pwn something here with a Foul Play. Except for Electros, but actually he probably still might do a decent amount to Electros. I know it's got like base 110 attack. Let's see. Boom! Ah, okay. And he appears to be Specs. So at this point I'm just going to go into Seismitoad. I don't really care if he predicts this. Yeah, he predicted it. Um, because now I can just bring in Choice Band and Monferno and just hit something with a nice Flare Blitz here. I'm not going to go for Close Combat, because, yeah, he sends in this thing. This should get destroyed. Solid Oko. 
Yeah, Monfred only has like base 70 something attack, but it's kind of like the same complex as Infernape in OU, where like Infernape only has like base 100 something attack and a special attack, but it gets close combat and flare blitz, which are really powerful moves. Um, da, 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 da. I'm just gonna attack. <laughs> Oh, nice. Choice Band in Monferno. Just cleaning up here. Getting these Okos. Well, not Okos, but... If you slightly weaken their Pokemon, you can get the one-shots. <laughs> and I can basically just almost sweep him with Mach Punch. So let's just go back into Mandibuzz. And just hopefully bring Monferno back in. Or I could probably even sweep him with Mandibuzz, and that's why I run physically defensive. Because, I mean, that's a sheer force, life orbs, super effective rock slide, and I just took it, no problem. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to attack. If he wakes up, it's okay. I just have my dual fighting Pokemon to tear through his team at this point. And I'm happy because the thing that my team was actually supposed to do, like Monferno was just supposed to take care of the ghost type with Flare Blitz, and it actually did that. Because <laughs> normally when I do these, the, po the team doesn't at all do what it's supposed to. So yeah. So that's... Alright, time to get the final kill with Monferno. So yes, just the weird Focus Sash Stealth Rock Monferno set is not all you can run. This is also a very good set. So thanks to Dragon LX for recommend. Er, I just saw a video of him using it, so that's that's where okay. This guy though, okay, he's got a very solid defensive core there. These these three Pokemon, he's using Manda Buzz and Seismato just like I am, and then an Electric type, and then a Fighting type. And then there's just the Jinx and the Mischievous. But I really want to get Stealth Rocks up here. Because Jinx is a huge problem. <laughs> like, that thing is going to give me lots of problems. Like, <laughs> yeah, Jinx. What? Seed Bomb? He got me. He just got me. But I can just go into Mandibuzz. Just keep Seismitoad. Hopefully I can switch it in and maybe even get it as Sleep Fodder. Or I could just switch it into Electrode. I don't know what he's going to go into here. He could just... Hmm. I'm just going to Toxic. He does not have too much for this. Yeah, he has that. So let's test the waters and see exactly how much he's going to predict here. I'm going to go into Blossom as opposed to Seismitoad. Okay, Charge Beam. Okay, so he's a Violite. That pretty much tells me he's a Violite. I think that actually might even be in the Spogon set. Hmm, interesting. Usually I just see Choice Scarfed. Alright, in comes the Jinx. We get the seeds on it, which is great because we really just need to wear this thing down. I'm gonna go into Seismitoad and hopefully heal Lovely Kiss here. If he goes for Ice Beam, it's not the worst thing though because I can bring in Sock. Okay, he just Ice Beams. Okay, and he is Life Orb. Alright. So I'm gonna bank on Jinx's really weak defenses and try to earn. And hopefully this should take him out. You can do it, Monferno. I believe. And that him not making a move just uh kind of ruined that. But it's okay. Yes, Monferno, you are on fire today. <laughs> Uh, uh, Alright, I apologize. Okay, Mistrevis. You can't really Will-O-Wisp. I have no idea what this is going to do. 
I'm gonna go into Mandibuzz and then just switch right back into Monferno. Okay, oh, he's nasty plot. So I'm about to eat a Thunderbolt. This is a problem. Alright, Blossom. Okay, yeah, that, that did not do too much. I'm just gonna try to put him to sleep just to basically force him out. I realize he does have two two Pokemon with Vital Spirit, but I'm not too concerned about that at the moment. And I can never hit Sleep Powder with Blossom. Like, I usually can hit Sleep Powder pretty well with Tag Growth and Pokemon like that, but for some reason when I use Blossom, it just never, ever hits! Like, mmm! <sighs> Well, that is really, really annoying. I'm gonna save this, though. Just because of the Seismitoad. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. So, I just need to go into Ampharos and just try to get off a huge hit with Thunderbolt. I'm pretty sure Shadow Ball shouldn't be able to kill me. If I had been able to hit Sleep Powder, I could have just got the Leech Seeds on him and then just stalled him out with Blossom, but of course I missed twice and he got the Special Defense drop. Oh, I'm faster. Cool. Okay, that's fine. Now I can just go into Monferno and either force him out or just kill him. Man, this thing really kind of screwed me, though. <laughs> it just killed my Ampharos. But actually, I can just kind of spam close combat. Although he still has this. Not sh I can just go into Mandibuzz, though, I'm pretty sure. And just wall this thing. Okay, and he predicts that. Just gonna go into Sock. I really don't have too much for the Electabuzz now, since my Blossom is dead. Dead. It, it's basically dead. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> All I have other than that is Amanda Buzz. So let's see if he's specially defensive. Oh! That's why you run physically defensive. Although I'm not sure if that might have still to a KO'd after rocks. I'm not sure. This might actually be physically defensive. I just don't know. Scarfed sock damage rolls because I always use, or I almost always use banded sock. All right, so the dual fighting types still putting in the work. Just spam close combat. <laughs> Rex is probably gonna hate me for this too because he was just uh, commenting how he hates it when. Oh wait, no, I, I guess that's only when I lead off with my most powerful Pokemon, so I should still be good in the eyes of Rex. Okay, but I'll just close combat him. Your Violite was not enough. If you had it, get out of here, sir. Okay, yeah, so uh, I just was able to turn my disadvantage around here, so I'm just going to keep clicking close combat. Yeah, that does a nice mount. He could be offensive. Yeah, that seems offensive. Uh, hmm. If this is offensive, this could be a problem. Not bad. <laughs> so I guess he didn't have Sludge Wave. So that's pretty much GG there. Because I can just sack Blossom. If he locks himself into close combat, Mandibuzz can take that, I'm pretty sure. And uh, and then I can, yeah. So Mandibuzz can hopefully take this. Even if it can't, his defense will just keep getting lowered here. Actually, yeah, I should just foul play. His defense will keep getting lowered, and I can just bring him on Inferno and take him out with a Mock Punch, which looks like is going to be the situation. So, on Inferno, I believe in you. Do it now. 
It's not that hard of a decision what move you need to click, so it really shouldn't be taking this long for you to click a move. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and I, the reason I'm not just like clicking home and finding another battle, because there's actually might be a slight chance this might not. Okay, yeah. Who am I kidding? There wasn't a chance that wasn't going to kill. All right. So, Monferno has just been taking names and kicking ass here. <laughs> although, we, although we did build the team around Agility Ampharos, that really has not done anything. Okay, we've got a team. That's all I'm going to say about it. I'm just going to leave off Mandibuzz and Taunt. Okay. I'm actually kind of glad, because that was going to be a really stupid battle. <laughs> okay. This is a problem. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if this is a rain team. <laughs> oh, man. Uh... <laughs> Blossom, go. Do something. I don't know. Just do it. Do something. <laughs> Oh my, okay. Thought that was going to do a lot. But it did not. Alright, well, I'm not going to kill him. I should have actually just led with my Seismitoad here. But, uh, come on. I just want to get Stealth Rocks up because he has two weaknesses. And Swana is actually a pretty huge threat. Uh, back in the Amoongus days, I used to run just manual rain dance, Swana, like on a non-rain team. Just because uh, Amoongus was really common, and what you could do is send Swana in. Or if they had an Amoongus out and you got a free switch, you could send Swana in, uh, set up rain as they went for Spore, and your hydration would heal you, and then you just Oko them with Life Orb Hurricane. It was a pretty pretty interesting team. That was also when Ambor was NU, though. <laughs> so, alright, I've got a Seismitoad, so you can't really do too much to this. Except hit me with a Rock Gem Stone Edge, which still does nothing. Could Toxic, because I'm pretty sure he's not going to stay in, but, uh... Yeah. Okay, he's just whittling me down. Uh, I'm just gonna go. Hmm. Yeah, I need to save my health. I'm gonna go into Blossom and try to just kill him. Just hit him with a Giga Drain. I am kind of walled by grass types, though, this Blossom set. So, Vileplume might fit better on this team, but. Blossom is just the incredibly especially bulky oh wow it is actually taking these physical hits really well though like the reason I run it over Isle Plume is because Blossom has better special defense and because of that and since it's not poison type you can wall Gardevoir and Kadabra Well, he hasn't set up rain yet, so I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he might not even have rain dance. It might just be mono water or some crap. There's really no reason to run Swan outside of rain, though, unless you're running like I don't know. <laughs> I'll just I'll just stay with the first part of that statement there. Okay, I don't know if this guy is faster, but I'm just going. No, what? <laughs> What is going on? Um, well, Lapras is pretty specially bulky, so I'm just going to go in Monferno here. And, uh, yeah, I was expecting, I was fearing him to sleep talk uh, Surf there, but, yeah, I'm just going to close combat. Ah, nice solid Oko. Yeah, so this match was kind of just a stupid one, but... Okay, now then comes the Swana. Ugh, crap. See, this thing is a problem. <laughs> uh, or oh, whatever. 
Oh, I'm faster. Sweet. He doesn't have any speed investment. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna send in Sock and click close combat. <laughs> just kill him with a resistant move. Why not? Because <laughs> that's what Sock and Monferno do. They just kill things with resisted moves. And yeah, we should just be able to... Oh yeah, he's definitely offensive. I don't know what that other guy's... That didn't matter at all. I don't know what that other guy's Seismitoad set was, because he took that a little bit better. He must have been like max special attack, max HP or something. Would be my guess. But I think that's going to be this POI. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.